Hey guys, Chris here again. Thought I'd make a short video for you here this morning because I kind of got something I wasn't quite expecting right away in the mail from Amazon. And this item had some pretty mixed reviews, but I'm doing early, more affordable Christmas shopping. And this one was on the highest rated. So I thought I'd pick it up for the price and have a look and see what I thought because it comes with uh, quite a few mixed reviews. So here it is. It's a mosky oak set of knives, which a lot of people say they've had some serious problems with. Couldn't get a sharpen on it because the metal was too soft. Um, scales were actually damaged. These are poured scales, so they're formed and I guess the forming didn't go quite right and nobody checked quality quality control that day but um, yeah I thought I'd have a look at them I own quite a few knives but I never generally go for anything too cheap I do have a guy in Alberta that actually makes them for me if I want them and the set itself is not new the design itself but it does seem like this year they've changed the sheath which is great because the other sheaths came with uh, straps across the handles and I don't like that personally but I don't do much hunting and these are really more of a hunting knife I guess you know hunting fishing but these are great the sheaths are locked into place they don't fall out easily you don't really need that strap And although mine's scales are good, the scales are actually really good. Um, the blade's kind of thin. It is thin. But it's 30 bucks in Canada for both of these. And to be honest with you, they're pretty nice. Like I said, um, this part I'd be pretty concerned about breaking because it's so thin. They really could have just left that until they got up to about there. But it is what it is for 30 bucks. And it's for two. Uh, a lot of guys were saying that they couldn't get the blades to actually sharpen to the point where you could cut paper or shave your arm. Well, I've got a hell of a lot less hair right there and some skin because it took the hair and little bumps that basically on everybody's uh, skin right off and although there was some problems with the honing and i think that's where they're having their issue is it's not honed properly all the way through um five minutes with one of my diamond stones and it was absolutely fine and i didn't go for a 1200 uh, this thing right now will cut through just about anything I, I'm not going to beat on it with a hammer or try to cut logs with it because I don't really see the point. Um, these, they aren't really meant to be abused like that. And like I said, for 30 bucks, you can't go wrong on two because you also get the other one. In the States, I believe you can buy these separate. But... I got them in a set. And if you still want to gift them separate, you can. So the same kind of sheath. It's very well locked in there. The gut ripper or rope cutter, whatever you prefer to call it, is quite sharp. So no problems there. But again, on the, the honing of the edge, pretty much the same deal with this knife. Although it was sharp enough in places to shave your arm and cut paper when I got it out of the box. I did take them out of the box and kind of look them over and hone them in properly. So, and my scales are great. You can unscrew them. Extra bonus right there. Has room for a lanyard if you want one. And yeah, for 30 bucks, I mean, if you want, you could split these up and gift them 15 bucks each, right? 
and they're really decent looking hunting knives. So, yeah. If you guys want to try it out, I, I definitely recommend it for the price. The handles are a bit short. I don't have the biggest hands, but the handles are a bit short. Other than that, they seem like perfect little tools. So, yeah. Hope you like it.